Let me tell you a little bit about the 800-pound gorilla that's in this room and every room in your organization. In the late 1980s, I was a product manager at Tandem Computers. Now, actually, let me be a little more specific. I was a hardware product manager. Now, that meant there was also a software product manager. You can imagine that I couldn't really get a product to market successfully without a lot of collaboration and communication, right? And, of course, he wouldn't have a product to go with his software at all without my hardware, nor would I have a functional product without his software. So you'd think that in that environment, there would be all kinds of mechanisms for connection and coordination and collaboration. Actually, my boss was Larry, the VP of hardware. His boss was John, the VP of software. They didn't have a common reporting relationship until you got all the way to the CEO. So he had his own boss, his own meetings, his own goals. I had my boss, my meetings, and my goals. And there the twain shall meet. And it was making me crazy. Both of us genuinely wanted to get the right product to market for the right customer at the right time. But the system was making that really hard. So one day I went into my boss and I said, Larry, this is really hard. There's no vehicles for coordination. There's no motivation for coordination. And in fact, I sort of feel like the organization has this big wall down the middle of it. And I can't cross the wall, and neither can he. What are we going to do about this, Larry? Now, Larry had a lot more business experience than I did at this point. And Larry was a very patient, kind soul. And so Larry looked at me, and he said, you know... That's just the way things are done around here. And it's not going to change. And I'm thinking, what do you mean it's not going to change? It's not functional. It's not working. It's not creating success. And it was at that moment that I understood the importance of the fourth factor, corporate culture. It was at that point that I saw with my own eyes the 800-pound gorilla in the room. And I saw that that 800-pound gorilla was corporate culture 